Right, my name's uh, Steve Mace from Soulwise, and what I'm going to do today is just do a quick video which demonstrates how to uh, use a brace of the new uh, Ingenious 5610 products to do a Wi-Fi link between uh, point to point. Now the 5610 product is uh, one of the newer products in the Ingenious range and it's a 5 gig product which can be operated in the uh, UK uh, IR2006 band B 5 gig region which is the 5.4 to 5.7 region and it can also be used in the band C IR2007 conforming uh, 5.7 to 5.8 gigahertz region so this product can be used in both of these regions uh, conforming to the correct uh, certification now, um, let's just type in the web address of A5610 that I've got connected to our network here, which is 192.168.1.1. Press enter. Pops up with the obligatory username and password screen, which is admin, admin. And no, I don't want to remember that. Okay, so it comes up with the uh, standard status page of the 5610. And uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to ensure that it's set up for either band B usage or band C usage, depending where we want to use uh, unlicensed or licensed operating frequencies. So we need to go to uh, System Properties, and here we have to select the country code. So if we scroll down this list, uh, here we have uh, UK, just United Kingdom which essentially means uh, free for all, so obviously you should not be using that country region or you've got the IR2006 or the IR2007 so for this example I'll just pick IR2006 that's done now now we have to choose operating modes now the 5610 uses the uh, more common way of doing a bridge point which is access point at one end and client bridge at the other end so what we'll do is we'll leave this one on the default mode of client bridge and just click on apply now it's going to do the obligatory uh, reboot so just drum our fingers on the desktop waiting a little bit longer come on okay so now it's done that and we're back on the same page again now what we need to do is uh, change the IP address of this unit the reason we're going to do that is we're going to have two of these uh, obviously forming our bridge link and we don't want them both on the same IP address or it makes um, accessing them a little bit of a pain in the bum so what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, system IP settings and the default address as, uh, as you've seen is 1.1 and we're just going to change this unit to 1.2 and we click on apply and wait for the obligatory reboot this one's a bit quicker now that's done so now this device is on the address 1.2 it's automatically decided to change our browser to the 1.2 address so we have to log in again on the new address yeah again I don't want my browser to remember it so now the units come up on the uh, address 1.2 and it's in client bridge mode and it's using channel 132 which is one of the band C channels now what we have to do is we have to change the wireless SSID to ensure that it's going to match the access point at the other end so we go to uh, wireless network now I just happened to know because, uh, well, basically because I cheated and looked at the uh, unit, the uh, access point beforehand, that the default access point SSID is Ingenious One. So I'm just going to put Ingenious One in there. And the next thing I wanted to do look at is this option here called WDS Client. Now I hate this word WDS. It seems to be banded around by a lot of these equipment manufacturers all over the place. But in this instance, what they actually mean is transparent bridge mode. Now transparent bridge mode means that the MAC addresses of all of the uh, network devices, computers, etc. sat behind this client will all be uh, set across um, as they are original. So the MAC addresses will not be altered in any way by the client when it transfers the traffic across the link. 
Now this is important for applications like DHCP, uh, but there are also things where it's useful, for example, if you're using routers behind the client. Not having MAC address transparency can upset things. So we'll just enable that. So now it will be MAC transparent and click on apply and now it's going to reboot dum -de -dum, dum -dum -dum. okay so now it's done we can go back to our main status page and we can see it's set up UK country band B in client bridge mode and it's ready to go so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect this uh, 5610 from the network here and I'm going to connect it to a notebook uh, on the far side of the office and then I'm going to take another 5610 in default mode and connect that to the network and then we can go through the configuration of the access point part of the link so uh, if just bear with me I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail okay back again and now I've got the other unit connected on so that will obviously be on its default address which is 1.1 up it pops with the status page now of the other unit we could tell it's the other unit because as you can see the country is not set on this on this particular unit so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to first of all set that country so we go to system properties and we're going to go down uh, UK band B and now what we're also going to do is change the operating mode. Remember the other end is the client bridge, so we're going to make this end the access point. Now we're going to apply <coughs> and just wait for it to do its uh, reboot. Now what I'll do is while that is doing the rebooting, I shall just bring up a command window and just set up a ping to the other computer. Remember I said that the client is sat behind a notebook PC. Well that PC is on the address 1.127 and now I'm just going to set up a ping to that other notebook. So that's going to be going in the background and uh, you notice it has just started working. Just as the access point has finished its reboot and configuration the link is made. So uh, that wasn't hard was it? We didn't have to do much there now we go back to the main and you can see that it's settled on channel 100 and what we can do is we can look at the client list there it is there's the client list there's the MAC address of the client on the other end and now obviously because that client is now on the um, same network as this device we can type in the IP address which remember we changed to 1.2 and now we're into the client which is on the other end of this link and if we look at the client then you can look at the connection status of this client there it is and you can see that it's actually connected to another access point at the other end this is the SSID of the access point and it here it is giving us the signal strength etc and the raw Wi-Fi transmission rate and as you can see the pings of that remote nook are busy chugging away no problem at all so that's it that's all you have to do when setting up a 5610 not rocket science really is it